today. What hasn't happened today, Rose? I'm stressed the fuck out. I can't take it. And this one is acting like a fucking possessed demon. Are you doing your meditation and your breathing exercises that I was telling you about? Yeah. Well, Rose is a friend of mine who I met when I was working on a movie by Deborah Cardona called Chained. She's big in the actor community, in the um, Instagram skit community. She's awesome. She's a sweetheart. She's very talented. Um, but when I came home from the hospital, I just, you know, I wanted someone to come in here and clear out any kind of bad energy because honestly, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I feel like somebody kind of put a curse on me perhaps because I had a blood clot and they still can't dis to discover how or where I got it from. Like, it's still a mystery. I'm trying to breathe, but listen, What's seriously, Rose, like, okay, you know, ever since I got out of the hospital, everything has been going really good. Everything that we prayed for has been coming true, okay? But lately, like this past week, this one has been acting like a demon. She's been trying to bite people. She's barking at everyone. And poor Marge mm -hmm. Tiffany threw up because she was so upset because she keeps attacking Marge. I don't know what to do. I keep them separated. So maybe we can like get the evil spirits out of this dog. Yeah, I definitely think <sighs> saging and doing some breathing exercises, some meditation. Remember, you do so much and you're doing all of this most of the time by yourself. Boy, oh boy. My fur babies are my children. Marge Tiffany is my firstborn. She is 13. And let me tell you, she is a queen. She has been in magazines. She's been on television. She is a professional pet model. Like, she really does runway work for Celebrity Catwalk, a charity that we're closely involved with that raises money for shelter pets. She is a lady. She's very conservative. She's loving. She's sweet. She would never bark or bite someone. Now, my second child, Ashley Gabor, is the complete opposite. She is a thugged out little demon when she wants to be. She will nip you. She jumped up and bit Khalil in his ass one time off the bed, like out of nowhere. Like she jumped off of Jimmy's yacht last summer, just, just jumped into the water, like out of nowhere. Like she's, she's fearless, this dog. I got, I got some white sage for you and I bring some roses. What's the white I, sage do? I, what's that? You well, used the other kind before. We, we're gonna just cleanse the air. Remove all energy. Sage, what's good about sage, it resets the energy in any room. So it eliminates everyone else's energy. It eliminates any bad thoughts. So right now, I just need you to, with me, start thinking of positive affirmations. Tell your Bring guides. me the big dick energy. I need that, that big dick energy I hear about on social media. Yes. I pray about it all the time. I also need the big dick energy. With no drama. No baby mama drama. All right. I'm going to come up on top of your bed. And, and I'm going to sage her Get this too. one. So I'm telling you, she's a demon. All right. You better stay away from Marge Tiffany. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. Manifest. I'm going to remove all that negative energy. And I bring some roses to do a rose spiritual bath for you. Ooh, so after this, I'm taking the, the bath. You're going to take a nice bath. See? See how she's running from the sage? It's a negative vibe in her, I'm telling you. You know what? I've seen and heard the things that you have done, and we got to sage you too. Yes. See? She's fighting it. She's fighting. I'm telling no, you. Come on. Don't fight it. Don't, don't fight it. She's got an anger spirit. Okay. She bites everybody. She there goes, go. nips everybody. She bites poor, poor, look at Marge. Marge is scared to death. We got to get this out of you. Marge is always so good. I know. Marge is an angel, can do no wrong. Okay. Get the baby Yoda too. Baby Yoda was with me in the hospital. And you say you need some big dick energy? Big dick energy, yes. Cleanse this to get the quick. cobwebs off that cooch. Just, just yes. Set it off. Get, just the take it off. get the cobwebs All off right. that pussy. Gotcha. Yes. It's been too long. Yes. Breathe, Chrissy. Breathe. Okay, I'm going to really meditate now. All right. So, I'm going to do this real quick. Let's do a prayer and all that. and all, take Everything you always do. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. Every time you take a deep breath in, you're seeing this white light coming into you. And you're gonna exhale darkness. Cause we don't need it. One more time. And don't forget, you are Chrissy. 
and everything you want will come into fruition because you will manifest it. Ashe. You feel better? I need a massage now. So she comes in and she clears it all out. And I just feel more peaceful when Rose comes and does her prayers and does all the saging. But I'm telling you, I think it's also helped to calm little Miss Ashley Gabor down because Ashley Gabor, man, she is evil sometimes. Like she just attacks like out of nowhere, like, like a demon child, like she's possessed. We've never seen anything like it in a dog and a tiny dog. It's just no, it's crazy. So I, I don't know if that worked. But Ashley's still acting up, so I don't know. I don't think it worked. Lauren, you got to protect your energy. That's right. Protect. They're not going to touch me. No. Protect your energy. The big dick energy. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm all for it. No, I need, I need fun, and I need some, uh, you know, some, some male companionship. It's been too long. I'm feeling healthy again. I gained some of my weight back. I'm ready. To, to get into the action girl. Yeah. But you know what? Somebody. Everybody's like, oh, people in dating apps are crazy. Hello, anybody could be crazy. I, I get it. I get it. But like I always say, protect your energy. Okay. All right. Don't give in too much. Don't All give right. them too much info. That's right. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. I feel better. Can I no. kiss you or is she going to bite me? Bye, love you. <laughs> she really wants to go. Breathe, 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 breathe in, breathe out. Let's meditate, dog. I love you. F I N T I N G C H R I S S Y. Put me what? Find thing Chrissy. Find thing Chrissy. Find find it Chrissy, y'all. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Figure it out what's going on in your heart What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me Beautiful Chrissy Monroe Hey, hello How you doing, beautiful? I'm good, you're more beautiful Wow, this is a lot I mean, it's different, what you talk about? This is okay. definitely uh, unexpected I mean, you know I want to be something different so my first blind date, I thought it was a joke. Because when I walked up and Tuan had on that outfit, <laughs> I was like, this has got to be a setup. This has got to be some kind of corny joke. But he was really dressed like that. Like he had on Tim's with like a dress outfit and a bow tie. Like who the fuck wears bow ties? Like, like middle school or some shit, like prom. Like what the fuck is that? And then he had this little tiny little fucking nugget of a corsage pin that matched the bow tie, like, what the fuck is that shit? Like, like, it was horrible. Then he had on matching sunglasses and a hat. It was just, he was doing the most. He definitely was doing the most. It was embarrassing, kind of like, I'm like, oh my God, I hope I don't fucking see anybody I know while I'm out with this dude. Like, this is probably when I'll see my worst enemy and they're like, yo, did you see Chrissy out with that fucking outfit guy in the outfit? Like, all I could see is the outfit. So we finally here, baby, what's up? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the flowers. You know? I mean, the horse and carriage is just, I wanted it to be different. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. This is, um, this is over. I love it. I love the flowers. I love this. This is amazing. You know, I've lived in New York for 20 years and I've never done this. This is definitely great. He was very nice. He was a gentleman. He brought me the nice flowers. Um, he was cool. He was cool as shit. I could see us being friends, but nothing more. What do you do for a living? I mean, I do everything. You know, I'm still in the entertainment business, still doing music. You know what I mean? Still producing, doing different things, modeling, brand ambassador. You're a model? Reality. I'm doing everything, man. I'm doing a million things so I get a million dollars. I know, that's right. Yeah. Yes, what kind of model are you? I mean, brand ambassador, model. I do different things for clothing. You know what I mean? I do certain looks at magazines, certain things like that. You know what I mean? Just like I said, a million, doing a million things so I get a million dollars. What I did not like was the fact that he brought up um, like the business things of being in the entertainment industry, how we could kind of come up together and all that. That is a fucking turn off to me, major turn off. That's what I try to avoid. That's why I normally don't date guys that are in the industry because I want my private life to be outside of that realm where not everybody's in our business and all of that. So when he's like, yo, we could build together and work together. <laughs> 
I'm not looking for somebody to work with. I want a man to fucking fuck on and chill with, like not look for business opportunities. I mean, you... I'm serious, like, it's been a long time being around you. My nails on fire, you know what I mean? It's a demon, certain looks like. Oh my God. I like what I see. I bet you do, Twan. So, you got any kids? Tell yeah, me you're single. Kids. You got a girlfriend, baby mama drama. Nah, no, I mean, you know. You ever been married? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me everything up front. Ne never been married. Never. Okay. I do want to get married, bro. You do? Yeah, I, I do want to get married. You have kids? Yeah, I got kids. I got two daughters and a son. How old? Um, 13 and 12. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? 12 years or 12 months? 12 years. Come on, I don't got no newborns right now. Okay, I don't date guys with newborns. Nah, nah, I don't know newborns, but you know. Uh-huh. Got three kids. What about know? your baby mother? Is she in the scene or a drama or in that picture? You yeah, guys know? No, nobody in no scenes right now. You don't now. sleep in her house on the holidays, Christmas oh. night, sleep over, none of that? Nah, you know what it is? I do what I want, honestly, because I don't really have nobody I got to report to. Okay. So, you, so know, you have a good relationship with your child's mothers? I got a good relationship with my kids. Okay. But you know, due to their age, they can't really take care of themselves. So daddy got to go course, through no. it. Listen, I respect men that have children that are good fathers. I just am not here for the baby mama drama. I had a pregnant woman jump on the hood of my car once. He didn't tell me he had a woman pregnant at home. And, you know, we stopped by his house to pick up some clothes. And she came out like seven months pregnant and literally jumped on the car I'm driving and was holding onto my windshield wipers. Like... What? I'm not here for none of that. Dude, like, that's crazy. No, this is why I'm not even giving you the whole, um, you know, interrogation, but I can't deal with any of that kind of drama of being the high profile pop person that I am. It's too much fucking shit with, you know, chicks and then they make fake pages, then they're threatening me in the DMs and stalking me. So it's not even usually the guy, it's, it's the baby's mother or the girlfriend that's in the shadows watching. So I just want to get that clear if we do end up going out on another date. No, no ifs. I like to keep my business private. Man, I, like, I love the My privacy. personal life private. My my lifestyle is public. Okay. Twan, but my public my, my public my, my personal life is private. Your personal life. Okay. I don't I don't post dudes on Instagram or nothing like that because then if you out here ah 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 doing stuff, I'm not out here looking stupid. So not, not everything is for everybody. I'm not here to be for everybody. I want to be exclusive. You want to be exclusive? Exclusive. How do you know? Because you don't even know me. You just met me. Listen, listen. What if I'm a total bitch? I mean, I could deal with that. You won't be the fuck. I mean, now you know what I like. I told you what kind of guy I like. And, no, and I'll be honest with you. I normally don't tell guys what kind of guy I like. Why? Because then they try to yourself? they try to become that person. And, be, and it's fake and it's phony. They try to be what I said I like. They try to act like that dude. Now, so it's I'm better that I don't tell you exactly what I like. Because guys tend to do that. Like if I say I like a guy that wears all purple, you'll show up for your next date all, wearing all purple. Like, I'd rather you just be you and get let me see who you really are. Like, that's why now I'm going to start following you on Instagram. You got Thank my you. word. Thank you. And I'm going to see how you move and this how you roll. Me. What you okay, see is what you see, get, Chrissy. That will be organic. I can scroll back six months ago and see that before you knew me or met me. What you see right here is what you go The get. real you. This is me. If you out clapping asses in the club and oh, all that. Uh, I've done that. You still do that? I don't need to. Okay. I'm comfortable on my skin. Like, you know... How people say, I want to get my life together. My life together. Mm -hmm. I just don't got that happy in it. That's why I'm here with you. It's to be an upgrade for me. I'm sure. Have a little batty like this okay, beside okay. me and all that. Sure. Now I'm going to go to some red carpet with this batty beside me. Like, yo, world, y'all see us? You, you see them? That's <laughs> duty and Chrissy right there. You know what I mean? Stepping in the building like, you know what I mean? That's the vibe, baby, you know? Yeah, sounds great. Sounds really nice, Juan. Keep me in mind. I really enjoyed this time with you too. Yeah. Some more times. You need some lotion. You got some for me? No. Do I have none? <laughs> this is that hard life. Light skin. They say light skin people can't even get like this, right? I'm light skin, ashy light skin guy. It's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm just rushing. Just, I'm just messing. You look fine. I'm just rushing, baby. I, no. I wish I had some lotion to give you. I was trying to be on time for you. Yeah, you look great. Because you, how long were you waiting? I was waiting at all. I was waiting maybe like three minutes, five minutes. Yeah, well, That's why I was on my phone. I was like, hello. I've been here like You didn't hour. get my text? No, I didn't. Because I've been here. I was so waiting. I knew we were supposed to meet me at, and I was just waiting. So mm -hmm. That's what it is. I'm, I'm happy I have my time with you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can do this again. Yes. Huh? We'll see. No promises. I don't make promises. You feel those lips? Very so imagine soft. them all over. Oh, fuck. 
It's a TMI right now. <laughs> yes. It's a magma. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Yes, Juan. It's been wonderful. This has really been a lot. I can't wait to get home and tell Palillo all about it. Oh, well, cool. And I will make sure you tag me on something so I can find your page. No, I'm definitely going to tag you. I'm going to tag you as soon as you get off this. I'm sure you will. I love it. I mean, this was just wow. Thank you. It was great. No, you're really you nice. Again. You're very nice. Thank you. I know, you, I know I'm not the only person you probably, you know what I mean, given a chance to date, but I appreciate it that I had the opportunity. Thank you. Till next time? Till next time. Right, Bye, Twan. Let me, let me get up there. I got it, bro. You can hold this for me. You did a good job. You did enough, man. You know what I mean? That's back safe. Let me get her down, you know what I mean? Ooh, I'm just loving the boots. I don't know. I'll hold on this for you. Damn. All this? <laughs> I'm not wearing Tim's like you. Yes, this was great. This woman. It's the next time, right? All right. Bye. Take care. Come on, bro. Give it back to me. I mean, it's not that I'm walking off. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's cool. He's very nice. We could definitely be friends, but ain't nobody, none of that. And I didn't see him in my DM for three years until I actually looked, and he's really been in my DM for three years. me why I'm all into cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency makes me money cash coins untold so oh, yeah. oh, what's going you on? took my advice which which time because you give me good <laughs> advice about everything well I'm happy that you're finally in the crypto market finally I should have listened to you years ago what up you'd be <laughs> filthy rich right now I know what's the car you want to get the 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 Rolls Royce truck. Hey. Yes, the black with the Tiffany blue interior. Oh my God. Hey. All right. I so you already right you already have this a you know liquor, right? an idea, huh? This doesn't have liquor, right? No, I don't think. I don't drink anymore. I no, got it. It's ask. a regular truck. No, it know. is, but yeah. I, I wanted to have it. I wanted to have it set up for you, so. Thank you, Justin. So look, check it. I'm starving. We've been talking about this crypto money team, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we finally got the pieces in place to make it happen. You know? Yeah. So, it's a lot of things happening right now in the crypto market. Um, I know you called me and you told me how many people were in your inbox that are interested in crypto and I told you how big YouTube is. I told so you So are you finally ready to get in front of the camera and talk crypto? I should have gotten into it earlier. Justin is my good friend in Miami and I <clears throat> distinctly remember him telling me about Bitcoin three years ago. And I was like, whatever, it's a scam, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. no, it's not. I finally got into it this year and man, it's been very rewarding and very lucrative to say the least. Now it's not for everybody. It's like going to a casino. If you know, you're not used to losing money or waiting, you have to have patience to be in the crypto game. A lot of people think they're going to just make all this money real quick and get in and get out. No, but you have to be ready to lose too. Yeah, I told you this. This is, hello, been a long time coming. I have the platform. You have the yeah, knowledge. That's a fact. I posted about my Ethereum one time and my DMs blew up. Wow. But I don't, I'd rather not answer a question than give somebody the wrong right, information. Right, 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 that's right, right. I'm always calling you like, Justin, what does this mean? Ah, uh, ah, uh, so, yeah. So I haven't really Definitely. been messing with it lately because I've been so busy like with everything, but I really want to get like full focused and back into 100%. it and make this crypto money team pop. 100%. I mean, I wouldn't be the Oracle if I wouldn't exactly. give you this information, yes. right? So I had no idea with Coinbase, if you forget your password, they lock you out and you lose your money. Like it's that serious because there's so many scammers and so much fraud going on. 
I thought Justin was joking with me. He was not joking. Like, I literally almost, like, if you don't get it after the third time, you get locked out. Okay, so when I'm you in, get time, try a wing. I'm in my binary. Right. I'm definitely, but they're messy. I gotta, you know, I have an all white. Are course. you able to get into your binance? Hold on, I'm getting in there now. Hold on. You know, I tried my passcode twice and it didn't work. So I'm about to. No, 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 no. Do not try it three times. Three times, you're done. Bullshit. Yeah, it, that's how it works. What do you mean done? You don't remember your password? No, hello. I, I just started. You get getting... locked out of the account. I just started taking this serious. Like, they, there's no way they're not locking me out of my account. Stop, do not do that, I'm telling you. Are you serious? I'm so serious. No, you're not, you're joking. How much did you invest when I told you? For shits and giggles, how I much did you invest? I think I bought about, about $1,000 worth under a penny. I didn't put that much, $1,000, it's not a big deal. Under a penny, it's worth yeah. 60 cent right now. So how much is that? It's a lot of money. We need to get you to remember this password. That's what How much need. money is it? Let's first find out how, how can we get into this account. That's the I biggest thing right now. I don't know what right 60 now. times under a penny is. <laughs> so you really don't know your password? No. I'm not, I just started taking this serious, Justin. You're in trouble right now. So that almost happened. Um, thank God he helped me. I know it was kind of corny, but he helped me to remember the passcode by using his little techniques. He's so silly. If I find you the password, what are you getting me? Why is it gotta be giving you something, Justin? You're we're right. doing business and we're using my platform to start the crypto money team. Handshake. As partners. Handshake. Let's get, get it. it. I got you. No, I'm upset. I don't even wanna fucking eat now. I think like, I know no, what are it you is. really serious? I think I know what it is. If I lost money, you're not gonna see me for a while because I'm serious. Well, I, I need to see you, so. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I'm not going to come out of my fucking house. Like, if I lost $100,000, I could lose $1,000. Or more. $100,000 or more. more. Give me a second. Try Gabor. And, uh, serving looks. And hopefully that, uh... Yeah, but what if it's not right? I'm going to be locked down. I think you got it. <laughs> Right. Wait. You're really making me upset. Put the Henny close to your head and you'll get it. <laughs> Yo, you're making me want to Hennessy, Hennessy, Hennessy. Let's go. No, you know how much I love Hennessy. Let Rest in peace, Murph. Rest in peace, Murph. I know. Peace, Murph. Oh, more for Dully. I think you got it now. Let me smell the Hennessy. Hold on, wait, wait. Ah, uh, wait, wait, one more. Ah, uh, wait, wait. For City Island. For fucking City Island. Cheers to that. For fucking City Island, I think you got it. One more. Crab legs. Hey. Crab legs. That's my password. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how you do that? Let's go. Yo, how you do that? I knew what I was doing. Um, but it worked, and I almost lost a lot of money. So, thank God I didn't. I would be still crying if I lost the amount of money. <laughs> it was over hundred grand. So, definitely, um, yeah. Thank God for Justin. The new token. What kind? It's called Safe Me. Okay. Oh, this shit is a fucking wheel. How, so I gotta buy This is the new thing right here. I'll make money like that. I did Crazy. on the Doge. Oh, absolutely. The dog Doge. How is it? Doge or dog? Doge. Doge. But this one is it. Really? This one is it. These are bomb. So, so listen. All right, so let's buy some. Let me buy some. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got you. All right, I have some money in my wings. Let's eat the wings first. Right. I'm hungry as shit. Yo, oh, Duke is making us the Crypto Money Team t-shirt still. All right. We know, we're taking this shit to the top. Let's get it. Hello. All right. All right, yeah. All right. That's done. Monroe show, everybody. No. Welcome uh, to the Chrissy show. She came, she's out here. She's in Staten Island. We bought the Mrs. Serving Looks is in the building. Yeah. Give a round of applause, Jiggy Jada. Gunshots, because we're going to talk, we're talking about the real behind reality TV. Yeah. I've known Dr. Wilson from years ago. She has a charity organization as well called Sur Surprise the Struggling. 
where she collects donated purses and fills them with new toiletries for women in the homeless shelters. And I really loved the whole concept and admired her for her good work out in the streets. She She's really about helping people genuinely. I can spot the real from the fake and she's definitely a real one. Yes. How did I inspire you? When I first met you, you were doing the donated purses with the toiletries. Surprise is struggling, yes. yes. And that was really, really inspiring because you really were touching people directly and that really needed things. Like it's just something so simple that you know people don't realize when they're in the shelter and things like that, that aren't covered by SNAP. I mean, you know, like, you know, food stamps yeah, that don't buy yeah. toiletries and things like that, that women need. Sanitary napkins, yeah. um, body wash, deodorant, something so simple is so essential to so many, so many people. So yes, that's- Yes, awesome. yes. <laughs> and that's what we did. Yes. We did the event Yes. with, um, what's her name that did the, the, um, the she did the party. desserts. Uh, the Lady Tony Cakes or Operation something? Birthday. birthday. Yes, that was great. <laughs> Operation Birthday. Yes. yes. So yeah. we were, we went to the shelter. He was like four then. He yes. was like four, four or five. Y'all, this is what I'm saying. Like the title of this show had to be the real behind reality TV because. So my foundation think, is called think. Survive to Thrive Global. I started it in 2016. I am a survivor of domestic violence. I was almost beaten to death and robbed by an ex. And when the judge only gave him three months, I was livid. It was, I felt violated. Like, how dare they not care? Like, don't you know what he did to me? I brought photos. My tooth was broken. I have permanent uh, hearing damage in my left ear. My left jaw is dislocated. I have medical reports of me having a cracked rib, black eyes. I have proof of everything. And you give him three months, a slap on the wrist? Um, I don't judge anybody. So, you know, and when we meet someone who's that fine and the sex is good, we tend to overlook a lot of stuff that we uh -huh. normally not accept. And I don't care. People can say they don't, but they do it all, all the time. I'm just open with it. I, at least I admit. Right. You know this, this is who you was talking about when you called him the first time. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, he was paroled to my house in Westchester County. So, you know, with parole, you got to stay there. Like, you know, the parole officer comes popping up in this and that, which he would from time mm -hmm. to time unannounced. So... It just went it just went downhill quickly. This guy was very abusive emotionally. He started ignoring me like for no reason. Just playing the m mental mind games which now I know about, which is like narcissistic abuse, right, withdrawing right. sex, withdrawing um, any kind of intimacy, things like that, which I didn't know about. I didn't know I was being played like this. I thought I did something wrong. Like, did I say right. something Right, you didn't know this. I think I'm going crazy. crazy. Yeah, like, <laughs> did I say something Narcissists, Narcissists do that. Yes. They they so, something else. Yeah, they really do. Um, and then it got to be the verbal abuse. You know, the bitches, you owe, you washed up, you fat, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I grew Don't up nobody a, want you anyway. Exactly. So I grew up with a, a, a very extremely abusive mother. Like, she made the mother from Precious look like an angel. Like, <laughs> dead Wow. Ass. You didn't yeah. know that. I haven't spoken to my, speaking to my mother in 14 years. I've seen my mother in 14 years. My brother don't speak to her. She didn't even go to my sister's funeral. My sister died of a fentanyl overdose three summers ago. My mother didn't even come to the funeral or give us a dollar. Like, she didn't even come. Like, how the hell? I mean, that's a whole nother topic. That's in wow. my book that's coming out. Wow. Severe wow. abuse as a child. So... The verbal was secondhand to me. It didn't. I, I didn't care. I was like, I grew up with mother, motherfucker, this and then you bitch and I'm right. a mother. You know, angry woman. Mm. So and then it got to be physical, and you know, by that time I was already kind of so fucked up mentally. This was wow. months later, and I was like, you know, this ain't working out. You got to get out. He's like, you fucking with my freedom, bitch. You know, I ain't got nowhere to go. You're going to fuck up me. I'm, I'm going back to jail. If I go back to jail, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to have you fucking killed. He would have other women call me call me and say they're going to cut my face and give me a buck 50. I mean, ghetto as possible. Tell <laughs> she me said, she said a buck 50. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was like, <laughs> you know, I let she say know. a buck 50. Yeah, she, she said a buck 50. I said a buck 50. All right. A buck 50. So anyway. Right. All the way. Yeah. So, a buck 50. Y'all know what a buck 50 is. Exactly. <laughs> So, but you know, it was like, it was just horrible. So, you know, make a long story short, 
I pretty much almost lost everything I had worked so hard for. I mean, I'm supposed to be at the height of my fucking everything I wished for coming from Baltimore 20 years ago to get on in the entertainment business. And right. And for on, this to happen. For this motherfucker to come. It's the devil. The devil. That was the <laughs> devil that came into my life. <laughs> Satan sent that motherfucker into my life to destroy everything. Yes. It was good. But it didn't, didn't work. work. It didn't work. It didn't wait till, wait till, till I tell you what happened today. Oh after God. today. Oh, Lord. So. After today. He... I mean, he fucked me up. He almost killed me. Um, he robbed me of over $10,000 worth of jewelry. I have permanent hearing damage in my left ear. He broke my front tooth. That's why I got my veneers. Fuck him. I got nice teeth now, bitch. How about that? <laughs> um, cracked rib. But, you know, those things wow. heal, but the emotional scars were the hardest. I did yeah. get rid of them. I'm telling you, I used to pray to God, please let him get hit by a fucking bus, anything. Get him out of my life. Like, he just wanted to be me. He wanted everything that I had. He was a fucking hater. He was just... Um, I was so mad that it prompted me to say, you know what? Something's got to be done because there's other people like me out here um, that aren't getting any help. It, it took me taking my attorney to the district attorney's office to even get them to help me. They didn't even want to help me and file charges against this animal. So when I found out he was in the <laughs> hospital handcuffed to the bed with a police officer by the bedside, I said, this is my... Thank you, Jesus. God. This is I, my time to escape. I felt like the whole dark cloud in my house went away. I packed everything, a toothbrush, not even a toothpick in them trash bags, and took that shit out of there, changed my locks, because I knew he was going to jail after they got him out of the hospital. Right. So that was your freedom. Thank God. They knocked his teeth out, everything. Like, he was this close to death. But that was God working in that my life. Angels. See how he, see how that fit? He just, I couldn't even imagine that happening. And I was just like, thank you, Lord Jesus. And he never came back for me. I got a five-year order of protection. I pressed charges, and they gave him only three months, which ran concurrent with the time he was in there. So basically, there was nothing. He didn't spend one fucking minute in prison for what he did to me, because he was already in prison for right. the, the robbery. Which isn't fair. Exactly, because it violated his parole. It's not fair. So I was angry as shit. I said, this is really what the fuck it is? And this was a woman district attorney. Wow. Acting like she's doing me a favor in Westchester to even press charges on this motherfucker. Like, you supposed oh, to Oh, yeah, because you're a white girl, right? And yeah, this is and a black guy. Yeah. Right, and you're on TV. Exactly. Right. Fuck that bitch. Exactly. So <laughs> he's stupid. So yeah, but you know, she really That's didn't how, do shit. The what? real behind the But I really Did the had real to behind bring, really reality TV. I had to bring my lawyer with me to say basically, we taking this to the media if you don't help me. He almost killed me. And he's been out in and out of jail, from what I've understood, in the last few years. I have a five-year order of protection, and he's reviolated several times and beaten up several other women. So, you know, does he have to kill someone for, for him to go to prison? Like, unfortunately, is that what it has to come to? So I said, you know, I have a big foundation thanks to being on television. I'm gonna use my voice to become a voice for the voiceless. And then I have another it's surprise. You, Chrissy, over there. I have another surprise for you. She got more stuff. What you doing, Christy? Yes, you were such an inspiration to me. Y'all don't be giving me no checks up here. Yes. You are such an inspiration. Oh, no! Uh, no! That's new. No, no you're not. From Survive to Thrive Global to you, a thousand dollar donation to you Survive to Thrive You played so much. You gotta play. Why would you do that? Show. This is not for show. So, so, so you can help more people. So you can help more people. No! Oh, 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 oh. She's been a big inspiration to me. So, of course, I'm going to support. So, it was great being on the podcast. Shampoo. I'm yes. sorry, guys. Oh, you deserve it. Why you That's what you do That's what it's about. It's about giving back. Hello. So, you can help more people. Yes. Yes, girl. Yes, 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 yes. You deserve it. Yes. You deserve it. She's making me tear up. Yes, you deserve it. Go to a commercial. Donate. Surprise to throw. Everybody donate my to eyes are Surprise burning. to Struggling. Yeah. That was beautiful. Thank you, Mikey. Girl, I wish I could get more. <laughs> I know it's been a few hours. Don't worry, this is how Chris is. It takes a while. Oh! Hey! Hi! What's up, Schizo? Hi! 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 Hi!
session with my friend Schizo, who is a hit, major hit making producer. So I'm like, okay, you know how you got to pay to use other people's music for shit? Why not make my own music for my Serving Looks website that fits Serving Looks? Anyway, yes. what's going on? What's going on with you? I'm good, everything's good. You see, I'm bringing in my weight back. I know, I was the one seeing you lose in the hospital. Yoda gave you the power. You gave me the Yoda. I sleep with that Yoda every night that you gave me. The, pl the plushy Yoda. I love you. No, I sleep with that every night. I really appreciate everything you did when I was in the hospital. I love you. so I want to make a song about serving looks even though I know it's going to be like it's not going to be like a fucking hit but I want it so I could play it on the website baby I'm serving looks baby I'm serving looks or is back very low key on the profile sometimes I ah. can get wild baby I'm serving looks 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 yeah. Sometimes. But sometimes I can act wild. Sometimes. Wrote that fast. Chicken scratch. Baby, I'm serving looks. Baby, I'm serving looks. Very low key with the profile. Sometimes I can act wild. Baby, I'm serving looks. Baby, I'm serving looks. Very low key with the profile. for Cameron, he's done songs for Andre 3000, pretty much ma many mainstream artists. He's very humble. He doesn't brag, but I tell him you need to brag. Like you have bragging rights. There's people who haven't done one tenth of the shit you've done and that are out here fucking capping on the gram. Is that what they call it, capping? I'm serving looks, uh, baby come look at me. I'm what you wanna be. Well, baby, I'm serving looks. Hey, 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 hey,
of almost 20 years. Kenny is completely single, no children, has his own place, his own car. Um, yeah, I think the two of you would be very compatible. And he likes to wine and dine. Oh, I like he's a gentleman. I he know. loves to spoil your men. I so I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, she's perfect. She's going to spoil him, give him the attention he needs. Because you know how you are? You're very focused. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. And you got to wear this dress or something similar. Something sexy. Dress, yes. Or like, yes. Everything. Girl. Serving the body. Oh Serving my God, books. he's going to love it. Yes. Girl, you better come through for me. Don't. Don't disappoint me. I'm not gonna disappoint you. Upstairs Asia, yes. Looking forward to it. Let me, ready. Ready. Yes. Yes. Let me know what happens. Yes. Let me know what happens. I will. Well, I know All Kenny right. will. Yeah, for sure. He's Kenny's gonna tell us. He's gonna need extra deodorant because it's gonna be so fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do not stress him out, please. Oh my god. All right, so I guess we'll talk to Kenny. Yeah. Um, right, let's up. go. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. All I'm right. fucking exhausted. I need Ready? my pizza. Yes. All right, cool. All right. Oh, God. What a day, honey. How Girl, was the studio? It was awesome. I, I heard the music a little bit. It was good. Was that like a new song or something? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was I'm flat.